Iodine, probably one of the most misunderstood essential trace elements and controversial within the medical circles of today. According to Dr. David Brownstein, MD, there are an estimated 95% of individuals deficient in iodine. Hello my friends, welcome to the Healthy Corner. The mystery about iodine deficiency was uncovered through the research of Guy Abraham, MD, in 1998, and has been brought to the forefront with the efforts of Dr. David Brownstein's research and is now published in his book, Iodine, Why You Need It, Why You Can't Live Without It, available through the Educational Library at Capture Your Health. Why are we looking at iodine deficiency in 2010? Iodine deficiency was noticed back in the 1920s and shortly thereafter iodine was added to flour and salt and the problem was solved. However, most individuals don't know that the flour being used today isn't iodized and that only about one-fifth of the salt today is iodized. Did I mention that our soil is becoming more deficient in iodine? Sufficient essential element levels of iodine in the soil would produce crops with adequate amounts of iodine. However, that is not the case. Iodine is one of the least abundant elements in our soil, ranking number 62. If you are to find iodine today, it is in seawater and in small quantities located near the rocky terrain by the oceans, which was formed as the seawater evaporated. The highest concentration of iodine today is found in seaweed. Let's clarify that there is a difference between non-radioactive iodine and radioactive iodine. Our bodies need the non-radioactive iodine. It is found in every cell and the body utilizes iodine. Some of the noticeable issues with iodine deficiency low energy and feel tired all the time and you may seem edgy and kind of worn out. If you are experiencing sleepless nights or you toss and turn all night and are constantly feeling aches and pains, you may be feeling the results of low iodine levels. Unfortunately, many of the above issues or diagnosis of depression, stress, fibromyalgia, or chronic fatigue may be due to an iodine deficiency. Probably the biggest issue is thyroid function. The thyroid supports hormone balance, weight control, muscle growth, regular heartbeats, menstrual cycles, cholesterol balance, continuous energy, and a clear mental attitude. By the way, women are much more prone to iodine deficiency because the thyroid gland in a woman is two times as large as that of a man. For the most part, you can see women usually need more iodine than men. Today, it is estimated one out of every seven women suffer with a thyroid disorder in the U.S. The problem, research shows, in the 1940s, the average American consumed between 800 to 1,000 micrograms of iodine daily. And in 1995, that consumption of iodine dropped to 135 micrograms, a decrease of over 84%. The majority of iodine used in the body relates to the thyroid gland. And now you know all the different body functions that depend on a normal operating thyroid. There are other essential elements, such as selenium and other nutrients, that support thyroid function. Thyroid function is affected by toxic halogens such as chlorine, fluoride, and bromide. These toxic elements compete with iodide for absorption and uptake in the body and improper functioning of the thyroid. Hopefully you have a better understanding of iodine's important role in the body and the need for maintaining sufficient iodine levels. Have you ever tested for iodine levels in your body? There is a simple self-test for iodine deficiency, and there is a 24-hour iodine-iodide loading test. 
Both of these iodine challenges are available through the Healthy Community, which is located in the Capture Your Health website. There are also eating guidelines available to help you through the Healthy Community. After your evaluation, if the iodine levels in your body are insufficient, the Healthy Community can provide a program that will help improve your levels gradually, as determined by Dr. David Brownstein and others. The idea of iodine testing and support is a relatively newer science and may hold the key to improving thyroid health and unlocking the door for so many women and men in their quest for overshadowing many of the different immune dysfunctions and cancers of today. By raising awareness and understanding of how iodine works in the body, maybe you can appreciate the extremely important value of this essential mineral, iodine. We want to thank you for joining us at the Healthy Corner. This is Bud Torito. Have a fantastic day.